Hi. It's Karen again. I'm outside. You can hear the water running. Yesterday when I had did the video, you didn't hear the water because we had to shut it off because it all evaporated while we were gone, or most of it did. So he didn't have a chance to fill it till uh, last night. But anyway, this is just going to be a quick video. I wanted to show you the jacket that I got at Kohl's. Now, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to stand up just a little bit so you can see. I'm so happy with it because it's in style. And I think very with it. It's, uh, a, you know, just like a basic jean jacket, and it's in white. But it goes with everything, and it's going to be good for when the chilly nights come along, and uh, or even chilly days, but I don't think I'm going to have too many of those left now that it is getting warm. But anyway, I am so happy. Free with my Kohl's cash. Can't beat it. Can't be. I guess I found the new store that I'm going to love to shop at, uh, which is probably bad for my husband, but he'll get over it. And, he, and actually, he likes this jacket. Um, so, we're all set. A, I don't know why. I uh, don't. Uh, I get so amazed that um, things happen in my life and I almost put them on to chance, but as we know, there are no chances and coincidences and things like that. We know God has a plan for us, but it still amazes me when things I want to have happen, happen, and I haven't even really mentioned it to anybody. Like this morning, for instance. I'm, I'm going out to walk the dog, and I get past this house across the street, and I hear a, a voice say, Good morning. Now, the voice is behind me. The dog's pulling me in the opposite direction. I did turn around, and it was a nice new neighbor. And um, we got to chatting for a minute, and uh, I asked her if she wouldn't, if she would like to go through some clothes that I was bringing down to Goodwill. I have many outfits that unfortunately were bought just before I went in the hospital or just after I came out. And they still have the price tags on them. And they're way too big. And so I was just going to give them to Goodwill. But in a way that kind of broke my heart because I wish I had someone um, who could have used them. And that I know, you know, could use them. So anyway, I said, well, I just met her. Why not ask, right? As I say, I'm an unfiltered person, and if I think of something, it comes out my mouth before I give it too much second thought. So anyway, I said to her, uh, I don't know if you'd be interested, but would you like to go through? I had three huge, and I mean huge, trash bags, chock-a-block full of clothes. And I'd say many of them still with sales tags on them. So she said, oh, no, I'd love to do that. So we loaded up my wheelchair, and uh, we, between my husband and I, got the bags over to her house. As I said, right across the street, not a big deal here. But uh, in return, she was so grateful. She makes jewelry. And she let me pick out um, one of her bracelets. And she wants to cut this down. She thinks it's too big for my arm. 
I kind of like it this length. And it's turquoise and orange, and I like those colors. And they're nice and springy. So here's one of my spring things along with the jacket. Anyway, um, I picked out this bracelet. And then she says, well, my son is a big guy. So anytime you need anything moved or help around the house with anything heavy, let us know. Uh, you know, she said, he'll be more than happy to help, help out. I love people that do that. They volunteer other people, too, <laughs> to, <laughs> to do stuff. I do it all the time, too. Oh, yeah, no trouble. He or she would love to do it. Not me, but he or she would love to help you. But <laughs> anyway, it, it's nice to know that um, there is someone around here that can help and would be more than happy to help. Now, this girl is a woman is from Michigan. And I don't know if it's both because... We're both from the north. I, I kind of introduced myself by saying, it's so nice to meet you. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not a very friendly person. I kind of keep to myself, so I don't... When we first moved in here, there was everybody moved in about the same time, so there were a lot of neighbors that I got to know, mostly all of them, right away. So that was nice. But in the, it's been nine years, and a lot of them have moved on, moved out, what have you, and a lot of new ones have moved in. Now, I know I should be a better neighbor, and when somebody moves into the neighborhood, you bring them something, you bring them dinner, you bring them cookies and stuff like that. Well, frankly, I'm not up to doing that right yet. Uh, so I'll wave to people. But I don't go over and make myself a nuisance, which I could, as you can see from my vi videos, I could make myself a nuisance. But I, I decide, you know, if they want to come over and talk, that's fine. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna initiate it because I don't know. I just don't. I'm from Massachusetts originally, and we kind of stick to ourselves. I had a lot of friends in Massachusetts. Not that many in my neighborhood. In fact, the day I was leaving after 26 years in a house, a woman from across the street a couple of houses up comes over and says, I see the moving truck. <laughs> Are you leaving? And I said, yes, we're moving. And she said, well, it's nice to know you. And she's lived in the house for the same number of years as I had. Now, my kids kn knew the woman because they used to deliver uh, the daily paper when they were little. So, and they got the paper, so, you know, they had talked with her and everything before. I had waved to her several times, but I never really talked to her. I talked to the neighbors on both sides of me and one house across the street, but I didn't go too much further than that. And then, of course, the... Um, my kid's friend's mother, who lived in the neighborhood, I didn't know them. But a lot of them worked, and I worked. So I didn't have time for coffee clashes and stuff like that. Anyway, so I, you know, I mean, we were friendly. I'd see them all at the school functions and things like that, but we didn't hang at everybody's house. I hung around more so with the people I worked with than the people that lived in my neighborhood. But that's just the way it was. That was me. And when you work nights, you're just not around. You know, you're sleeping during the day when most everybody else is out and about. So anyway, um, i thrilled that I got to meet this woman. So we will see what happens with that. I will keep you posted. I'm watching my video time because I, they don't let me post anything over 10 minutes. So I better get off. And I just thought I'd share those few couple of things. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. God bless. Bye.